Hello, this is Yasko. Well, yesterday I went to City Hall, and in front of the City Hall, they had uh, this uh, uh, chrysanthemum festival, small one or exhibition. They are so pretty, and we have so many kinds of chrysanthemum in Japan, and uh, many colors and many uh, shapes. This is a very great look. Uh, fun to watch them. Talking about the chrysanthemum and the Japanese, the book called the Kikuto Katana uh, Chrysanthemum and the Sword is very popular. The whole title is uh, The Chrysanthemum and the Sword Patterns of Japanese Culture. Uh, this book was uh, written by Ruth Benedict. The uh, lady, uh, she was a cultural anthropologist. And uh, it's a funny thing that uh, she has never been in Japan, but uh, she wrote this book uh, with uh, many related books and so on. And uh, uh, the story about this book is uh, talking about the Japanese uh, people's uh, personality and the character and their also culture. Well, yes, I tried to read this book, but on the way I gave up on it. <laughs> Sorry. If you have a chance, uh, and also you, if you are interested in Japanese and the Japanese culture, this book might be help you a lot. And uh, next, uh, talking about uh, chrysanthemum and the Japanese royal family. Japanese royal family crest is a chrysanthemum, but it's a, a special one. Uh, it has 16 petals. So, why this flower uh, became a crest? Is go back to 1200. Uh, that time, Japanese uh, uh, retired emperor called uh, Gotoba. He loved this flower a lot. And uh, so uh, that's the reason why uh, royal family get this uh, flower as uh, their crest. Well, he has a sad story. If you get interested in, please uh, check uh, this retired emperor go to birth, smartphone or a computer. And also, um, our passport, the front page, it has uh, uh, symbolized uh, this uh, royal family crest, the uh, chrysanthemum. I don't know why. Uh, and the next, you may think it's funny, but we eat this chrysanthemum as a food. <laughs> Not uh, all of Japan. I saw this edible chrysanthemum at the uh, department store. We eat a uh, raw fish a lot, and uh, this small, cute, cute chrysanthemum to decorate a uh, raw fish. Japanese uh, local area, uh, mostly, they have a Buddhist altar. and. Uh, they put this chrysanthemum often at their uh, dedicated to ancestor. <laughs> so, one point, please be careful. If you want to give flower to Japanese lady, please don't give this chrysanthemum flower. Uh, Japanese girls may feel very depressed. <laughs> Well, this time I talked about uh, uh, chrysanthemum and the Japanese people. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And at the last, I have to tell you that uh, uh, finally I moved back to Kanagawa Prefecture. And uh, thank you for the one person gave me a comment <laughs> about uh, moving. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and I see you later. Bye.